It's happening. You better believe it. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, listen, everybody. I love doing this. And this. But I also love this. Uh, I don't see anybody. You're looking good, buddy. You're looking good. There you go. There you go. Rock it, baby. Use the downhill. And this. Good work. Good work. Good work. Looking strong. Looking strong. There you go. You got this. Nice work, Sage. And yes, of course, more of this. Let's go, Joseph. All right, Joseph. Nice job, Joseph. Forget him. About 45 seconds to a minute. 45 seconds. Use the gravity. Use the gravity. There you go. There you go, you got this! I'm a glass half full kind of guy. You guys know that. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. Listen, it was hard. I had to call it. No Olympic trials qualifier for me. This go round, this go round. But what does that mean? It means I'm going to Atlanta, Georgia for the US Marathon Olympic trials in two weeks. Two weeks from, well, tomorrow when you're watching this. Now, remember when True Love and I sat down, we had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about the 2020, the entire calendar year, uh, racing and filming schedule. It's time to start prepping for the new decade, the new year, new racing, new filming. Okay. And yeah. to talk about uh, everything we think we can pull off together. Yeah, a lot. Boom. And remember, there was a little information I was holding back at that little powwow. Here we go, hon. Okay. Travel schedule 2020. It's on your screen. And basically, we're actually going to, the first one on the screen, I'm actually not going to, it's a, it's a secret. And so we'll say that for, <laughs> we'll say that, but we got to talk about it okay. at some point. And so now you know, it's Atlanta. That's right. I just was mulling it over, thinking about it, trying to discern the right decision. And of course, true love is the best. She said, Seth, you have to go. You've got to go. I know you're not racing, but you got to go film for your people, meaning you out there in the YouTube universe. She gets it. And obviously, obviously, the uh, baby Henry, when is he going to show up? I'm not sure. But the only reason, of course, I wouldn't go is if he's not here yet. But I, we think he's going to be here in the next week. And uh, thankfully, I have a ton of family in the area ready to help. And so here's the situation. Uh, so true love, she's like, she's the best. She says, Seth, you've got to go. You got to go film for your people. So we're going. The plane ticket is purchased. It is purchased. Um, and I'm going to arrive in Atlanta, Georgia, Friday night. And then guess what? I'm flying out Saturday early evening. I'm literally in Atlanta for less than 24 hours. So it's a very, very quick trip, which sadly means I, I cannot do a group run. It's just going to be too tight because I get in Friday night and then Saturday morning, what am I doing? I'm going straight to the starting line and I'm going to be filming for all of you. Everyone getting ready, warming up, um, just getting the shots. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, as you can tell, I'm very, very excited. I got to take a breath. Got to take a breath. It's just it, like, this is our, why am I excited? This is our, uh, this is our, this is our Super Bowl for U.S long distance running. Now I realize the Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon this summer is also going to be a big deal. The 10K, the 5K, the steeplechase, you know, the, as far as the long distance running events are concerned. But uh, it, actually, this is interesting. The amount of people, think about across the United States and around the world. Think of the amount of people training right now for a road marathon versus a 10K on the track or a 5K on the, like, it's like the abundance of people at least just off of the top of my head like i think there's way more people right now in the world training for a road marathon therefore uh the connection that you have you out there to this event in atlanta georgia on february 29th high noon in atlanta georgia uh is is uh more prolific because it's just it's more readily available for us long distance runners versus the track events. Love the track events, but the road marathon is our Super Bowl. It's going to be a big deal. And so therefore, I'm going with True Love's blessing. I'm going and uh, but I'm only in town for 24 hours. And here's the deal. I need your help. Question of the day, part one. Who's going to be in Atlanta watching 
And if so, let us know down in the comments. Also, who's going to be in Atlanta watching and would be interested in helping me film? Meaning, do you have a camera? I guess I don't have a second camera out here to show you right now. But do you have a camera that's a little nicer or even just your phone? in horizontal, like your iPhone or your Android. I'm telling you, phones these days, especially if you have a new phone, they can do really, really nice video, even just holding it with your hands uh, nice and steady. So, who would be willing to help me film in Atlanta, Georgia? That would be amazing. And for example, like for my equipment, what I will be, will be bringing to Atlanta to film uh, for all of you is this 200 millimeter lens from Canon. Uh, this is the biggest lens that I own, and it's a solid lens. It gets some pretty nice close-up shots, but I will also be renting a 400 millimeter lens. Just putting it out there, does anybody in Denver, I'm not, like, would you, if you have a 400 millimeter lens, I would, I would pay you to use it for the weekend rather than me having to rent one from this company in California. No joke, just putting it out there. If you live in Denver, let me know. And what's really great about this race is look at this course preview. I'm gonna show you a little video here from the Atlanta Track Club. And what's gonna happen is it's an, it's basically it's a looped course. So for spectators who are gonna be there, it's gonna be amazing. Like you're gonna see the runners a lot more than a typical marathon course. So it's two eight mile loops, all right? Two eight mile loops. And then uh, the last loop is a 10.2 mile loop, okay? So eight plus eight is 16. 16 plus 10.2 is 26.2. So I, from a filming perspective, and a cheering perspective that is music to my ears and if you're able to help film what i would do is basically i would i would uh, work with you and talk with you about where would be an ideal place for you to stand and get as many shots as possible of both the men's and women's race on february saturday february 20 night oh baby and another reason true love said seth you got to go is because she knows that my approach to filming an event like this is totally different than a lot of other uh, media outlets and especially nbc which is going to stream it live on tv so you will be able to watch it live and see all the updates in real time that's going to be amazing i'm actually a little uh, a little jealous that you'll be able to watch because those camera angles are just amazing these days but but why am I going? Why, like it's, and why will I rent a 400 millimeter lens? Will the TV coverage, and just so everyone knows, oh, I did reach out to USA Track and Field asking for a media pass, no go. I explained the growth of this channel, I explained the enthusiasm behind this channel, and like, no, that I, like it was a complete no, 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 like, cause I'm a YouTube channel and not an official media outlet. It was really like, I don't know when USA Track and Field is going to wake up. Like, the world is changing. YouTube is where a lot of runners get their, inf get their intel and their information these days. It's not necessarily from these big media outlets. At least that's what I believe uh, based on listening to all of you and watching you guys interact down in the comments. And so what will I be looking for on the ground for filming? Of course, the shoes, the watches, the socks, the aid station bottles the coaches on the sidelines, the fans cheering, all these little nuances and details that I know you're interested in. I know you wanna, not only do you wanna watch the race and see the competition, you wanna see the gear that the runners are using. You wanna see the coaches' interaction with the, with the runners. You wanna see the gels and the water bottles and see like, can you pick up any hints and tricks and tips for your, for your marathon. So that's gonna be my approach with this lens and my bigger lens is to try and get those shots for all of you that are outside of the normal uh, filming philosophy of these bigger media outlets that are there to cover the event, but are they going into the details that we runners are obsessed with? So that is my approach and I cannot wait. It's gonna be epic. And so Atlanta 2020, I'm coming for you. Oh yeah, one last point is that, or two, two points real quick, is that I will of course, be hanging around the finish line after the the races are done and then i have to uh, uh yeah i have to zip off to the airport by about uh about five or six p.m so um i will be there to hang out and like if you're around the finish line feel free of course to come say hello we'll take pictures i just there's no way i can do a group run um right it's just there's just not enough time to do a group run 
for this trip. But at least we could meet in the finish line area. I, there's going to be a ton of people, but oh man, it's going to be epic. Okay, question of the day is, and let me see if I can formulate it well here. Um, what is the marathon qualifying process in your country if you live outside the United States? Like, what's it like? I actually, I honestly don't even know. Like in France or in, uh, in uh, Australia or in, um, in Kenya or in South Africa or in Korea or wherever in the world. Like, what is your marathon qualifying process like? If you have the time to explain it down below and you know, let me know. And also, um, will you, if you are, if you do live in the United States, are you planning to watch this event live on TV? All right, so that's the question. A couple options there. That is the question of the day. Thanks for hitting it up down below. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Onward and upward. All right, everyone, we're going to toss it back on the right to the racing playlist with all the racing vlogs from the past you know 18 months that'll be on the right hand side for you to check out and then on the left we'll toss it back to the world mountain running championships i believe that was the last race that i filmed for all of you all right everyone seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow